Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are going to be talking about some relatively minor news about the Godot 4 game engine, the upcoming Godot release and one of the major new things about Godot 4 is the all new Vulkan based renderer. Now if you've never heard of it before, Vulkan is basically the next version, more modern hardware support of OpenGL. Same people, the Kronos group are behind it and it does seem to be the future. Now one thing you will find is if you go and check out a new build of Godot 4 currently under development, you will see that OpenGL ES2 is currently unavailable. Now, OpenGL ES for embedded systems is like a stripped down subsection of, or subsect of uh, OpenGL. It, it's basically mostly aimed at uh, mobile devices, but it also works on desktop hardware. It's, it's a limited set of OpenGL for more limited devices. Right now, your only option is Vulkan. And that is actually going to be that way for quite a while. When Godot 4 launches, it is going to be no OpenGL, no OpenGL ES. And to be honest, this isn't really new. If you go back in time a little ways, when Godot 3.0 was released, there was no OpenGL ES2 renderer. They moved fully on to ES3. And then with the release of 3.1, well, that's when they added uh, support for ES back. And that's kind of what they're going to do here again. So when Godot 4 arrives, we are going to have it on Vulkan hardware only. Now, truth of the matter is, with the way time has progressed and the support behind Vulkan, that's going to be most hardware. We'll look in a second at, at what that means, what kind of devices support Vulkan at this point in time. Uh, but... Uh, that is the deal. So basically, the announcement today is um, OpenGL will uh, most likely not be supported at the time Godot 4 is out. Rendering design, all resulting code had to be re-implemented entirely from scratch uh, in order to support Vulkan and modern rendering techniques. Took an enormous amount of work. Uh, this will definitely be implemented by the time 4.1 is out, uh, hopefully sometime months later. One of our main goals with the 4.x release is to provide them in a timely manner so you don't have to wait a whole year for it. So that said, given 4.0 has so much new code, uh, it will also require a large amount of time dedicated to bug fixing and stabilization after even after stable uh, release, I'm assuming they meant to say. Um, so what version is going to support it? In the beginning, they wanted to support Vulkan alongside GLES2, uh, which you can see, again, it is currently disabled. Uh, but as time went on, it became clearer and clearer that supporting GLES2 is not an option anymore. Uh, several reasons for this. On desktop, this um, hardware that does not support GLES3 is extremely old, mid-2000s vintage hardware. Uh, hardware does not possess enough video memory to mon run modern game engine anyway. On mobile, uh, as they kept coming out, older ones no longer work because they die over time. Uh, GLES 2 devices are getting more and more scarce. Currently, 10% of phones are GLES 2. And then on the web, GLES 3 is part of WebGL 2. Now, WebGL 2 is a subset of OpenGL ES versions. So uh, WebGL was a subset of OpenGL ES 2. WebGL 2 is a subset of OpenGL ES 3, if you were wondering. And OpenGL ES 3 is based off of OpenGL 4 or something, I think. I, I wouldn't quote me on that one. It's a confusing world. Trust me on that one. It is very confusing. It basically boils down to every web browser not named Safari currently supports WebGL 2, which is based on OpenGL ES 3. So uh, Safari now has it in technical preview. So theoretically, all browsers should support WebGL 2, which is GLES 3 going forward. So that means they are not going to be implementing GLES 2 as a target with Godot 4.1. They will be implementing Godot GLES 3. And to be honest, we're talking pretty long time at this point in time. The only real major standout there is Safari. Uh, and theoretically, it should have it too. So uh, isn't it too demanding? GLES 2 is faster in Godot. Uh, it's a superset of 2. means the same things are supported and more features are added on. Um, many of these allow better optimization. So performance should actually be better on ES3 than ES2. Um, and it, it's kind of came down to how things were implemented back in the old days. Uh, performance is much better, but uh, talking about how to measure it. Simply put, in, GL, in Godot 3.2x, the GLES2 render is designed for older hardware and performs better than the ES3 render for relatively simple scenes, but it does not scale for more complex or high-end scenes. ES3 implementation in 4.1 will be a hybrid. It will have a design more similar to ES2 renderer in 3.2, so it will achieve better performance on old devices, but it will also take advantages of added features to scale better. Some more advanced features, such as 
decals or decals or real-time global illumination uh, present on the Vulcan renderer will not be supported though. Uh, so if you're still making a high-end game, you're going to want to go ahead with Vulcan. Uh, most high-end phones released right now run Vulcan. Again, we'll look at that in just a second. And what if you can't? Main problem is some older Intel integrated GPUs. I think we're talking like HD 3000 series um, won't work. And, and in that particular case, uh, they're considering shipping uh, uh, the Windows version of Godot editor running on top of Angle. Uh, it's a wrapper for WebGL. Uh, so if you can run WebGL 2 in your browser, you'll be able to run Godot. Mac OS OpenGL is being deprecated. We will also supply based on Angle uh, over Metal. Also, by the way, um, Vulkan isn't actually supported on Apple hardware either. You use something called Molten VK, which was a translation layer between Vulkan and Metal, in case you wanted even more confusion. Um, so uh, 3.x will be maintained for a long time. So if you want to stick with GLES 2, you're probably best served sticking with uh, Godot 3.x. And 4 may support GLES 2, but not necessarily out of the box. Uh, some contributors want to work on it. They may add limited support for those who need it. So the community may still make um, ES2 work for Godot going forward. Um, so that's it. That's where we are at right now. So really, the news of the day is that Godot 4 will only have Vulkan out of the box. Godot 4.1 will have um, OpenGL ES3 support only. Uh, WebGL 2 should be supported as a result of that move to OpenGL ES3. Uh, and that should work in all browsers, especially once uh, Safari finally gets on board and makes things work correctly out of technical preview. And OpenGL ES2 is probably not going to happen, but if there is enough community drive behind it, it may work. Now, do keep in mind, as they mentioned earlier, with the global illumination solutions, for example, uh, some of the functionality isn't even going to be available on ES3. So if there is an ES2, you're going to see an even smaller subset of features supported on it. Just one of those things to be aware of. Although, at the same time, if you're supporting hardware from the mid-2000s, you're probably not going to want a real-time global illumination solution running in your game in the first place. Now, I mentioned earlier on, we're going to take a look at some of the devices that support um, uh, Vulkan at this point in time. And you're going to see there's, there's actually this neat little site out there. It's called uh, gpuinfo.org. So vulkan.gpuinfo.org. You can go ahead and see um, what things actually support uh, by platform and so on. And you're going to see, if you come in and look for your device, um, you know, so let's go here. Let's go look for a Samsung S7, for example. And let's search. There we go. S7 supports it. So we're talking uh, S7. So then since then, 8, 9, 10, uh, 20, and 21 have all been released. So this is a six-year-old, uh, you know, flagship phone at the time, but it's six generations old at this point in time. And it supports it. Same thing here. If you come in and look for, say, like a Pixel, let's say a Pixel 2. I'm not 100% certain if the Pixel 2 will. Yep, Pixel 2 does. Let's go even further back in time. Let's go to the Pixel. Does Google Pixel have, uh, let's see. Nope. Okay, so there's your cutoff. Google Pixel does not seem to have Vulkan support. The Pixel C does, weirdly. Pixel 2 does. So that seems to be about your cutoff. The first generation of Pixel is about the most modern hardware you're going to find that doesn't have Vulkan support. Now you can get into some of like the um, real budget level phones. Uh, you may not find uh, Vulkan support, uh, but a lot of those real budget level phones are really not good gaming phones either. Now, interestingly, if you come in here, they actually show iOS uh, that everything from the A8 chip up supports it, which is technically a lie because everything runs on metal, but through the molten VK layer, uh, you are good to go. So if you're kind of curious what actually supports uh, Vulkan, what levels you're at, you can come in here and take a look. And interestingly enough, you're even gonna find, uh, I'll answer my own question, the Intel integrated graphics. So we've got the, all of the ones, the 520 series, but no HD. So Ivers Plus, so the older integrated graphics support Vulkan. So even if you don't have a GPU in your system, uh, you seem to be good to go. But I do not see the HD 4000 yet. All right, so I think that would probably be what the cutoff for Vulkan support there is an Intel HD 4000 series of chips. Uh, the 4000 series was actually uh, pretty popular. You're going to see that in uh, the older um, MacBook Airs, for example. Um, and it, it's it's definitely one of those uh, chips that went everywhere. But this time, an Intel HD 4000 integrated G, um, integrated graphics, if we're talking 
what is that, 10 years now? But that is where you're probably gonna see the biggest demographics of people impacted from this is the old Intel integrated GPUs. And like I saw from phones, uh, it looks like around the Pixel 2 era is where the cutoff happened. So if you're interested in checking out, again, you can find this site at uh, vulcan.gpuinfo.org and you can see what supports Vulcan. And for the most part, it's, it's almost everything modern. So it shouldn't be a huge deal, uh, but it's definitely worth noting. So out of the box, Godot 4, Vulcan only. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And do you want to see GLEST or do you think it's just time to move on? Let me know that. Comments down below as well. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.